fastest way to lose a female is not doing things her way. Don't step on a woman's toes and give her things the way that she wants them. Don't do things her way and you'll lose the relationship. <laughs> Yeah, vanilla. Uh, more or less. Computer science. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, house of cards, I guess. Hello, my name is Alice and I am a dirty little slut. Yes, rice and curry. I made rice and curry. I made rice and curry. I made chicken in my George Foreman grill and I made a curry out of it. Fried it. I haven't been out, but it should be sunny. I want to throw you into it with chipper and use the remains to fill up sausage skins from my summer picnic. I'm from the Netherlands. It it's cool. It's cool now. It's because it's, it's winter, but it's overall it's fun. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I like going to parties. No, I work. No, not at all. I'm Jack the fuck up. Come at me, bro, and you will have big problems if you try me, dog. The NBA stands for the National Basketball Association. I should know. I've been dominating for 13 years. No, we don't have to agree to disagree. It is not an English American thing. In London is NBA. In Africa is NBA. In China is NBA. Your bed slipped like a popsicle factory and I'm an Eskimo who is homesick for a good frozen meat stick. Uh, for a while I was, uh, living with my dad and my mom and then I got back to college. Uh, so now I have good enough parents and they, yeah, uh, they give lives to people, how they work, how they kind of care about, uh, it's about, it's about an English school teacher and they start a club. No! 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 You hear that sound? That's the sound of death. That's the sound of anxiety. That's the sound of fear. That's the sound that says, I don't want you to know what I'm really thinking. That's the sound that says, I'm suppressing every single fucking emotion so I don't have to be held accountable for it. That's the sound that says, I'm embarrassed about what I'm thinking about. I don't want you to know. I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want to sound uncool. I don't want to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the sound of monotone. Doesn't matter whether you're a teacher, a prime minister, an athlete like Shaquille O'Neal, a doctor, everybody out there is scared shitless, just like you. And you can hear it in their voice. Listen to, listen to sports interviews. Listen to newscasters. Listen to your teachers lecturing you. Go to work. Talk to coworkers. You'll spot monotone. You'll spot guys who just sound like this, who sound like Google Voice just like in the examples. Look, they're scared just like you. And they worry about what other people think about them, just like you. That's exactly what makes them monotone in the first place. That's what makes you monotone. Okay, now I'm gonna play something else for you. Listen to this. You hear that sound? That's a baby crying. Does the baby sound monotone to you? Does the baby sound like it's suppressing its feeling? No, you're not fucking born an introvert. You're not born monotone. There's no such thing as introvert and extrovert. There's just people who are poorly trained and people who are well-trained to socialize. You are most likely poorly trained. You hear that baby? That is a person who has no problem expressing how they're feeling. Expressing that thought. Either that baby's in pain or it's hungry. But it's definitely not masking how it feels. That's the opposite of monotone. When you were born, you were the exact opposite of monotone. Do you realize that? You had to grow into monotone. You had to develop monotone. Monotone takes effort. We were doing a social skills teardown. I actually asked him that classic interview question, Tell me a time where you went above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> he responded in a monotone, sort of dry, rambling story. Did you catch that? Okay, this time, pay attention to his eyes. Look at it again. Tell me a time where you went above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> he responded in a monotone, sort of dry, rambling story. What do you notice? If you put your hand over the lower half of his face and just look at his eyes, you'll see monotone. You'll see a guy full of anxiety trying to fake a personality. <laughs> 
In fact, if you turn off the volume, you can't even tell he's laughing because his eyes are hiding his emotions. They're betraying him and telling you, I'm scared as shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to teach you how to socialize, but I'm neurotic myself. How am I going to get away with this? I think that's the exact word I was looking for, turn you loose. That's really what he did with those promos. You were suddenly turned loose, you became an animal on the microphone, and like you said, you cut some of the most legendary promos ever. And you got to turn loose, man. Like, like these days, and uh, when I see some of the scripted promos, and you can tell these motherfuckers are scripted because, you know, you can, you can just see behind someone's eyes. <laughs> he responded in a monotone, sort of dry, rambling story. What? Okay, I hear all this shit that this guy's saying. Some of it actually sounds okay, but I know he don't believe it because I can see it in his yeah. eyes. You know, a good promo has to come from your heart. Hey man, you can lay it all down, but you've got to be convicted. You have to have the conviction and believe in the words that you're saying. Yes. I, I, I long, I hope for the day when, when they will just go back to saying, you know what? I'm gonna cut, so-and-so is gonna go cut a promo on you, listen to that motherfucker, then respond accordingly. Feel is much better than just a bunch of garbage. Yeah. If I don't feel what the fuck you're saying, I ain't gonna buy no ticket. You can spread a bunch of bullshit, but I ain't gonna buy it until I feel it. Dude, Koshal's lecturing you about emotions, dude. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You got a problem on your hands. No, that's very good feedback. So is this a social guy practicing social skills? Or is he really just an anxious guy? trying to hide his anxiety, just like you. What do you think takes more effort? To cry like a baby or to sound like a robotic fag like you? Definitely the latter. Sounding like a baby takes no effort. It's just how you're born. You're, you're crying or you're hungry. It just comes out. It's just spontaneously linked to your thought. Your raw feeling is linked to that thought. It takes no effort. It's just released. It's like when you sit down on a couch at home with nobody around and you just say, ah, you just let that sigh out. Ah, takes no effort. But being monotone takes a ton of effort. It takes a fuck ton of effort to sound like Google Voice. To even out your voice tone like this and remove all accountability from what you're saying. I am so happy. I just won a basketball game. I am having so much fun. Disneyland is so much fun. That was such a great movie. This was such a great piece of pie to eat. It was delicious. Fucking Betty was the most amazing experience ever. Her pussy was so wet. All of this suppressing of the thought and the feeling takes a ton of effort. Monotone people are ridiculously anxious inside, and they're expending gallons of energy producing that disgustingly sick, even flat tone. It's the tone of death. You know, when you're dead, you, you know, when you flatline, that's, that's the sound of monotone. If you were to look at monotone, uh, when I recorded these voices on uh, Audacity, if you looked at the actual signature of the wavelength of people who are monotone, it, it's hard to tell it's a human being because it's so even across the board. It's like a flat line. Whenever they make a sound, it only goes to a certain amplitude and stops there. So if you look at it across a, a long period of time, it just looks like a flat line. And it basically is a flat line. It's death. Removing the feeling from your thought is death. It's the equivalent of death. Monotone is the sound a desk makes. It's dead. Conversely, if you were to look at that baby, like I can see the baby crying and its vocal wavelength on audacity, it's all over the place. It's fluctuating. Why is it fluctuating? Because genuine feeling is being revealed. The exact opposite of monotone. Instead of bullshit, you get the real thought. With monotone, you get contrivance. You get a performance. You get a scared, nervous person giving you what they think you want. They actually think you want the monotone sound. They actually think you want the sound that in their head is, is really just saying, I don't want to sound stupid, so here's monotone. I don't want to sound mis uh, uninformed, so here's monotone. I don't want to sound guilty, so here's monotone. I don't want to sound like I don't know what I'm doing, so here's monotone. I don't want to sound like um, I'm uncool, like I'm too excited about something, so here's monotone. I don't want to sound depressed. I don't want to bring down the party, so here's monotone. Whatever rationalization you can think of to justify why you're anxious, why you're nervous around people, why you don't want to accept, accept, uh, accept accountability for a thought you're having, that the product, the end product, the end result is monotone.
It's disgusting. You need to realize that the only reason people are talking to you and not Googling the information coming out of your mouth is exactly because you have what Google can never have. You have what a search engine can never have. You have what a robot can't have. You have what a dead piece of furniture doesn't have. You have feelings, and those feelings are connected to your demands, to your thoughts. And when you make those demands, you're not trying to include the feeling. You're just revealing the feeling that's already there, included with each thought. Again, you're not trying to inject feeling into what you're saying. You're just trying to reveal the feeling that's already there. They move people. They're the very reason that people have conversations in the first place. To be affected, to be moved to action, to be moved to do something to be pushed in a direction. All day long, people are searching for a direction, something to do, somewhere to go. Monoto never gets them there. But when you reveal the feeling, you push people in that direction. What is the direction? What's the specific direction, direction you're pushing them in? Or where should you be pushing them? Towards necessity. All day long, you should be pushing people towards necessity. How do you get your needs met? How does this relationship help me meet my needs? That's where you should be pushing people. All day long, you should be pushing people towards relationships, the highest necessity. If how you're speaking isn't pushing people into a relationship with you, you're useless. Your voice is useless. Your existence is pretty much useless. Your words are not dead words on a page. You are not a book. You are not Google Voice. You are not just a conglomeration of facts and ideas and notions. You are a walking, living demand. And your voice should reflect that. Your tone should reflect that. The demand that people hear in your voice lets them know this is a living person. This is a person with a demand. In other words, this is a person who can meet my needs.